Hi guys, my name is Micah Stevens. I live here in Denellan, Florida. The purpose of this video is to just give you a glimpse into what I do for a living and uh, starting off the day right. Enjoy. I think she's loving it. I think it's safe to say. So Amelia is not a purebred, but she's a Catahoula, Louisiana Catahoula leopard dog. And uh, she's basically bred to shepherd cattle. And they've got incredible stamina. As you can see, she's got the body to just go essentially and that's what she likes to do the most kind of the first time I've actually taken her on these trails are you having fun her exhaustion level once we get back to the car. Let's see how she's feeling. Good girl. And that will tell me how much further we can go potentially. Oh yeah, this is more of a trial run. Good girl. So a little bit of background on Amelia. We picked her up from a couple who I ran into them in the grocery store and they're holding one of the puppies of the litter. I just made a comment in passing like, oh wow, must, must be nice to, looks like that makes shopping easier. Something along those lines and she uh, said it. Yeah, and we've got four more at home if you guys want one. So, my wife and I, my wife did what wives do. Fell in love with the fur baby at the grocery store. So we pretty much followed them back to their house. And while we're at their house, kind of tested the name amongst the litter and said come here Amelia to which she uh, she responded very promptly so we decided that she was the one um, fast forward a couple months and she actually comes down with the parvo virus she was about, I don't know, maybe three months old at that point. Four months old, maybe. And 
it was pretty much a death sentence for her. The vet said that she likely wouldn't make it more than a couple days. So lots of prayerful, long, sleepless nights. And she was in the hospital for about two weeks, maybe a week and a half. And she came home. <laughs> we were very, very grateful. Just speechless. Was, we had kind of come to terms with the fact that she wouldn't, wouldn't pull through. And there was one moment where I kind of got a glimpse of light. And wrote in my journal a couple thoughts regarding God and his creation and his, all of his creatures. And that was kind of the, the message of hope. And two days later, Amelia was home. And it was such a, such a blessing. So here she is now, cruising the trails. Putting pot of dirt like normal dogs should. Healthy as a clam. I don't know, clams are pretty healthy, right? Tongue hanging out the side of her mouth. Feeling good, huh? <laughs> so that's her story. She's a special dog and we're beyond grateful to have her any dog owner should be. Whoa.